Finnish Environment Institute SYKE has developed comprehensive real-time watershed simulation and forecasting system WSFS Vemala for water quantity and quality in lakes and rivers. Main inputs for the system are weather forecasts and weather radar information from Finnish Meteorological Institute FMI. SYKE provides the observation of hydrology and water quality. Satellite snow observations are available from SYKE and FMI. The main parts of the system is a hydrological simulation model, the WSFS version, and water quality simulation of nutrient loads from Finnish land areas into the Baltic Sea, the Vemala version. The main outputs of the hydrological part are real-time point forecasts and maps covering the whole Finland. Forecasts are provided for about 600 points in Finland, real-time maps of water level, runoff, snow, groundwater, and so on, are updated every day. WSFS can be used as a source of simulated data for unobserved areas. The system can simulate 20 different variables, such as aerial precipitation and runoff for each subcatchment, which are a total of 6,500 in WSFS and 65,000 in Vemala water quality version, and for each lake bigger than one square kilometer in WSFS or 10,000 square meters in the Vemala. The time span simulated in the system starts from beginning of 1962. The nutrient transport and simulation model simulates also the water quality components concerning phosphorus, nitrogen, suspended solids and many others. There are different water quality versions of water simulation Vemala system. The main purposes it can be used are portion of total or biologically available fraction in the runoff into the sea, the contribution of different loading sources to the total or biologically available nutrients, the retention in lakes and river network, and the phytoplankton growth in Finnish water bodies. It can also be used to construct scenarios like the impact of different farming actions and actions reducing nutrient loading or the effect of climate change to the loading of different nutrient fractions to be used, for example, in water framework directive work. The ML system is also used in operational estimation of hazardous leakage from example mines. This is an example of metal component leak from Talvivara mine to the surrounding catchment and here we can see how the concentration changes starting from point 1 downwards to the lake. We can see the concentration decrease and also the time delay of the leakage. In this way we can estimate the effects of the leakage downwards in the catchment. This is in operational use in Finland and it can be incorporated to other versions available in other countries. The system has also been used for water balance simulations from Finnish mines for forecasting the water balance of the mining site areas and to the planning of the filling and emptying the reservoirs inside the mining areas. Climate change studies can also be done with WSFS. In the research of climate change effects on hydrology and water quality, the changes of future floods and water levels are estimated by using the model system with inputs from climate change scenarios. The basic example where we are estimating the climate change effects and hydrology are floods and droughts. We are also looking at the regulation planning, groundwater changes and how the water quality will change in the future. This water quality simulation and climate change estimation is done by Vemala, which is the system's water quality version. Also adaptation to the climate change impacts concerning the reservoir regulation and flood risk management can be done with the system. The climate change simulations use the global and regional climate change scenarios as input. We are estimating the hydrological effects based on the delta change method where the historical and meteorological observations of temperature and precipitation are changed according to the changes from the climate change estimates or we can also use corrected direct climate model inputs in the hydrological simulation. We call this the bias correction method where we have to correct 
the climate change model simulation before we can use them as an input for the hydrological model. So we can compare these two ways and how they estimate the climate change effects on hydrology and we can estimate how reliable they are compared to each other when used for climate change scenarios on hydrology. WSFS is nowadays also used in the automatic control of dam outflows. At Eviarvi in Western Finland, we have a dam which is controlled by the WSFS. System calculates the daily runoff and inflow and the needed outflow for the lake. The results are sent to the dam and the dam is adjusted according to this outflow estimation. The dam interface receiving the needed outflow from hydrological model is made by private company and the model's outflow can also be manually overridden if necessary. The automatic dam control system has been applied successfully and it can also be widened to other dams in different basins in Finland. We also have many applications in international context where we are using this forecasting system in other countries. This kind of tailored solutions has thus far been made in three different countries, Sweden, Russia and Latvia. We can also provide real-time forecasts for other river basins in different countries in cooperation with local agents. The main users of the forecasting products are Finnish Flood Center, local environmental authorities, rescue services, lake regulators such as hydropower companies, ministries, communities, media and common people who can use the forecasts via internet. To find the products and forecasts, first go to the main webpage of Finnish Environmental Administration. Here you can see the water situation forecasts. From the map you can see how the runoff is changing. There are also other maps like water level and lake temperature. From here you can see the flood warnings and forecasts. On the left are the definitions of the symbols. When you zoom in and click a warning symbol, you can see the observations and the forecasts for that observation point. You can zoom out for the whole year. From the link below, you get the forecasts for other variables such as water level, discharge, water temperature, precipitation and so on. When you zoom in more, you can also see the other 600 points, though they wouldn't have warnings at the moment. In case of severe flooding, there are also maps of forecasted water levels available of the most important flooding areas. Also, the planning of the regulation can be done by the system. Don't hesitate to ask more about the Sukes Watershed Simulation and Forecasting System, WSFS Demala.